All right, guys. Okay, so in this uh, in this tutorial, what we're going to go over uh, is a pretty simple way to uh, actually clip a graphic, like encapsulate a graphic uh, or an image within your text. So uh, it's kind of hard to uh, put in words, but generally, so it's just so it's like putting a uh, graphic behind your text and then you know, uh, kind of like stamping that out of that graphic so I'll show you what I'm talking about it's, it is kind of hard to explain I don't really know how to put it in words but uh, so this I'm gonna do a couple examples for this first example we're gonna do we're just gonna do the word hot okay um, and what you want to do when you're planning on having a background for your uh, you know when you're planning on doing this uh, where you're encapsulating some type of graphic behind your text you're gonna want to use a bold graphic uh, in this case I'm gonna use one called permanent marker uh, to the best of my knowledge, it's royalty free. That stuff uh, can change, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but for this uh, tutorial, we're using permanent marker. Whatever, whatever font you choose to use, make sure that it's uh, 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 royalty free. Um, you know, nobody's going to come back and, and uh, ask you to pay them money. All right, so we've got hot up here, and, and like I said, we want a lot of surface area on our text. Well, I'm going to go ahead and size this up a little bit, or a lot, one or the other. Um, but see, this is what I'm talking about. A lot of surface area, you know. If you've got a just a typical, uh, typical text, see how see the difference as far as you know. Uh, even at that same size, you see, you just don't have as much surface area. So you want a bold text like this here to where you can uh, whatever you do is going to be noticeable. Versus if it's too small, it's just going to you know make your graphic look kind of wonky. And it's not going to actually represent what you're trying to accomplish. In this case, we're going to put fire behind this. If it gets, uh, you know, if there's not enough showing, it's just going to look like maybe weird orange lettering or, you know, whatever. So anyway, that's that's the text we're going to use. Now let's go over to, this is Pix, uh, excuse me, this is Pixabay. Claims to be all free images and videos you can use anywhere. Uh, what else does it say? A release free of copyrights under Creative Commons, blah, blah, blah. You still need to check. I've heard several people say, you know, no. Some people just upload whatever they want. There's no, you know, no, no uh, verification process in place or nothing like that. So make sure to do the research and whatever you're using. Make sure it is uh, free of copyrights and stuff like that. But uh, So what we're going to do is we're going to search for fire. And having our design in mind we're gonna try and something uh, that doesn't you know that's gonna look good behind it and we're gonna be able to tell what it is you know I'm gonna go with this this one here um, all right so we'll right click this and then go to copy image come and then we'll go back over to Inkscape right click and then paste all right so now we've got our fire now our fire needs to be big enough or we could have made hot smaller, but I'm trying to make this so you can see it really good. Um, all right, so now we've got our that covered. Now what we can do? Remember, in the last tutorial, is when you have the selection tool uh, selected, then that will allow you. We can push this graphic to the bottom. So see, we've got uh, move all the way to the bottom, move down one step move up one step move all the way to the top all right so we're gonna move that one down to the bottom so that our text is sitting on the top we'll move it it's a little close there so on that side so we'll center our text up a little bit all right um, and now what you want to do you know so that you can create an outline after this is done uh, go ahead and right click uh, duplicate and then move your uh, move that off to the side and now after you've done this after you have made this duplicate make sure that you do not change the size or anything about this graphic otherwise it won't work your, your outline will be will not be the same as the original text with the uh, fire in the background so alright so we got both of those done and what we'll do is we'll select that and then we'll you know select that text and then we'll also select the image itself uh, and then we will right click set clip bam okay so we got fire behind our lettering all right and we also still have that selected so then we'll come over here to select multiple objects what you need to do is hold down on the shift key so you come over here holding the shift key uh, click which now we're both selected then we'll go down to the align and distribute menu 
uh, or tool or whatever you want to call it. And what we want to do is we want these on the ex you know exact same create you know they're taking up the exact same space. So we're going to uh, center on the vertical axis and then we're going to center on the horizontal axis. All right. So now uh, we've got our original you know the duplicated original duplicated text right here. We got the fire text underneath. And what you want to do. Uh, deselect everything and then you'll reselect that top one and then from there you can take uh, this is called inset and out, uh, outset this is an outset because we're making it bigger if it was an inset we'd be making it smaller there's there's a few different ways to do it I, I personally I'll push con, uh, hold control and then zero it's actually the uh, uh, parentheses the in parentheses uh, but every time you hit it, as you can see, the graphic gets so that's three, four, five, six, seven. Graphic gets a little bigger, and then because of that uh, the fire is red, maybe we'll do a darker red for that, and then we'll go ahead and push that to the bottom. So you see, we've got our outline, and the cool thing is because it's still selected, you can come in here and we can change it to green, uh, whatever color you want. Now, if you deselect it and then you come back and you select that, you'll notice. Uh, see like we can change colors all we want and nothing happens to the graphic it's, and that's because that this is an image it's not really a text anymore it's an image that was cut out was stamped out with the text so you can't really manipulate that um, and if you get in this position where now you know uh, your top selected and you can't figure out how to select that bottom text what you're going to do to move down in selection you're going to hold alt and control simultaneously then when you click so the first click we've grabbed the top one uh, and then the second click we've grabbed the bottom one and you can tell here because there's that our, our weird maroon color uh, so we know we've got the bottom one checked uh, and then we can go back to moving it to green yellow whatever I'm gonna do this one more time because uh, that's a pretty should be a pretty quick tutorial this is a kind of a uh, fairly popular uh, like saying or text right now where they're saying people saying America America oh that ain't right we'll do all caps America I don't know if they're spelling it like that or we'll do it like this America yeah that looks better all right and same thing we want to go with a uh, bold bold text like permanent marker or whatever you know whatever it depends on the look you're wanting but you just don't want a thin text because then your your whatever you do behind it is not going to show up all that well so we got America there uh, and then we'll go ahead and duplicate that and move it down oh, wait a minute you have to have it selected before you can duplicate it duplicate move down all right now we're going to come back over to pixabay and we will look for an American flag flag Alright, and I like this one. I've used this one uh, for a background on something before. Oh, I think I've used it for mock-ups before. Uh, I just like that grungy, kind of grungy look. But anyway, so so we come in here, right-click, copy image, uh, go back over here, uh, right-click, paste the image. Now there's our American flag, and then we need it big enough for our lettering. Our lettering is covered now. We'll go ahead and, again, select. we're in selection mode, uh, so we'll move that to the bottom. Uh, America looks good now what I'm gonna do is because you gotta understand wherever your lettering is that's what's gonna be cut out and I want it to have all the elements of the flag I need it red white and blue all within my wording um, and we can actually probably go a little bigger with our lettering something like that maybe Let's see if that fits eh, a little too close I guess Move that down, you know, scale it down just a little bit. All right, that's good. So as you can see, like if you're looking at this, you can see I've got, I'm going to have blue in it right there. I'm going to have some red there, white, and goes back to red. So it's, hopefully that's going to give us that whole American flag look. So then you can just circle around, gra grab every, that'll grab everything. Or you can grab your text, then grab your, uh, hold your shift key. And, and then click on your flag. So then you've got both of them selected, whichever way. Long, once you have both of them selected, you're going to right click, set clip. Now, as you can see, that left all that uh, American flag back behind there, and then we've still got. Oh, crap, I changed the dang size. I, I guess this is a good lesson for you and I both. Um, I changed the size, so I'm going to need to go back and uh, control Z, control Z, control. Okay. 
let's uh, delete that one I forgot duplicate because you cannot if you do anything then once once you go to outline it it won't work all right now we're back to where we were so we'll zzz, uh, rope back around that right click set kit uh, set clip uh, and then now we should be good now we'll select that one holding the shift key we'll also select the other one that allows you to select multiple item multiple objects and then we'll come back over here this really doesn't matter I mean if you had it on page whether it's first or last selected or whatever doesn't matter or even the area selection area these will all work um, it, page would take them both up there it would still work but you're just wanting them exactly in the same spot which if you have both of them selected and then you select center on vertical axis and then center on horizontal axis then you get what we're looking for okay now you want to deselect because you have both of them selected um, then just select the text on the top then you're going to blow that out with a um, hold the control key and then hit zero uh, so one two three four five and then I think what we're going to do this time probably do a blue because I think blue, uh, blue was, uh, I think blue would look best for the red, white, and blue flags. We'll move that down. Okay, and I see we can go with a darker blue, maybe. All right, and then there's your text, man. You've got uh, you got a sweet looking marker right there, and then you got a sweet looking hot right there. Um, so anyway, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, it's really simple easy and, and when you get to thinking about it there's just so many different things you can do you know you can do the word spicy and then do uh, jalapeno peppers and stuff like that behind it or you know whatever I mean that's where the creative part goes in but what I'm trying to do is just kind of give you the tools to where whatever ideas you have you're able to utilize those ideas and put them into some type of design uh, so anyway hopefully that helps if you have any questions uh, feel free to uh, ask comment below um, if you like what I'm doing here be sure to like and subscribe I mean I really enjoy doing the design work um, it's it's something that I, I just uh, I'm self-taught and it's just something I was interested enough in that I just continued to play with until I kind of got it figured out and uh, I just really enjoy doing it and now I want to uh, kind of share with others and kind of see what kind of stuff they come up with so uh, but like I said, if you enjoy what I'm, uh, you know, these tutorials and stuff, please like and subscribe. Uh, that's really important for any YouTuber. Um, it just, it, it's really hard to put out videos when nobody's, uh, you know, you just, not that no one is thankful, uh, but it just feels that way. You know, sometimes when you're, I, I've had several different YouTube channels and it just generally either you get a lot of snide remarks or different stuff like that and it just you know just a like and subscribe every now and then keeps the wind in the sails so i can continue putting out videos um and like i said if you got any questions or comments please be sure to post them below um and make sure that uh you go out go check out you know if you want to check out the other designs or anything that i have be sure to go to the marymango.com i'll put a link in the description below that's my t-shirt shop and then of course my main focus right now is merch by amazon um but so i just enjoy designing so i mean i just design and design and design i mean uh i don't even think that the shirts i have on amazon i don't even know if they're actually on my website i just i just like throwing out a lot of design work so then that's why i'm sharing it with you guys uh, inkscape is a free tool uh minimal to no issues as far as glitches the one thing that uh i did point out is the lettering how you got to be careful make sure that your complete wording and lettering is complete before you start uh, manipulating or if you change it to a path or anything like that but other than that I mean it's really stable it never has crashed on me from what I remember and I've used it a ton um, and it, it just it doesn't really freeze uh, my computer's not that great yet I'm able to you know put out some pretty decent designs uh, so you know I give two thumbs up definitely with Inkscape I will never um, I, or let me put it this way I, I cannot foresee myself ever uh, transitioning over into Illustrator uh, for the simple fact that I just I have not met any limits uh, with Inkscape I mean any design that I can think up with you know any design that I can dream up I, I find a way to create it with Inkscape so I, I don't see any reason for me to ever to be uh, 
using Illustrator, I plan on using Inkscape for the whole. Uh, I use Inkscape for everything I do. I use it for mock-ups and everything. Like if you'd watched the last videos, you saw that I actually use it for the mock-ups, which a lot of people use a roster graphic, uh, like Photoshop or GIMP for the mock-ups. And I mean, I still use Inkscape for that also. So, but anyway, if you got any questions or comments, be sure to post them below. And guys, I really appreciate you watching. I hope this helped. And um, look forward to seeing your designs on uh, a t-shirt. Thanks, guys.